One of my favorite things is to walk into a room where no one knows you. And I think, you know, tonight's going to be a little bit like that. And I, and I, and I can't wait. We're just going to walk in there and say, all right, this is what we do. And I, I like, there's an honesty in it. There's a real truth to it. Because if an audience doesn't like you, you're not doing your job. You haven't won them over. And so, lift your game. <laughs> Backgrounds, which is what um, drove us for most of our life. But then we just got sick of bands, sick of playing in that kind of angry scene, and then we just stepped back from it all. And my brother and I just started playing the blues, which was what we grew up on. And then it just resonated with us. That's exactly what we wanted to be playing. As far as growing up, and as cliched as it is, it was Robert Johnson. You know, I came from you know, a Slayer, you know, background of, of you know, demons and, and, um, and all of that. And then I discovered this record, which was, you know, one black man, one guitar and a microphone. And he was actually singing about real life evils, like real life troubles. And um, it was the most powerful stuff I ever heard. And that's what changed my life. brothers you know we hate each other and we love each other and we hate each other and we love each other it's not writing songs together is not easy by any stretch of the imagination we um, we're stubborn individuals we, I've got a, my opinion on how music should be he's got his opinion on what music should be but at the end of the day he writes these amazing riffs and I really respect him for that and he comes and he brings them to me and and they they gel with you know what I want to be saying and then somehow we we work together and we pull you know we I don't think a song should be easy I don't think you should sit there and go all right um, you know that's great we'll just do it like this and a verse and a chorus you know we fight for it we'll fight for us you know like a small two bars and you know banging heads until we come to some kind of arrangement and always whatever that fight um, began as the end result will be better you know, it's a horrific year, but, uh, or it's two years actually it has been. Um, you know, my brother lost his partner, and um, he, you know he lost her while we were on tour. So it was, it was a, a very difficult process for us to kind of um, um, you know support him and look after him during that process. And then you know we did, he didn't quite know how to channel that emotion, so all we we just jumped straight back in the van and just went back touring because that's what we do best. And that's um, but then that wasn't necessarily maybe the healthiest thing to do because. Once again, we're back on the road in the places that we were when you know, we went with her, and, and um, so it was, it was a difficult period. And then at the same time, we lost a bunch of other friends straight after. In the, you know, in the course of two years, we lost four people. Death is the one thing that will bring out the best in humanity. I think you know you. You'll see people that have hated each other their whole lives and then there'll be a death and then they'll put that all aside and rise to the moment and then, and then reconcile their differences. And so we were surrounded by that kind of dichotomy. We had, we had you know, the, the pain and the loss and, uh, you know, and, the, and the horrors in, of grief um, and everything that comes with that. But we also had these amazing people in our lives that supported us or, or um, we grew as people, and then at the same time we're playing and you know writing these songs, and and so um, I think this album just gave us something to put all of that energy into the negative and the positive. And we we're quite broken when we started that album. The, the process, you know, we, we'd been touring, we were broke, we were poor. So you know, we were, we were poor, and you know, and that comes with its stresses, and and then. 
We were just like, no, nah, let's just do this album and put everything we could into it. Like everything. <laughs> It's freedom. I mean, it, you can't complain about it um, because all you are doing is getting on the road with a bunch of people you respect and, and meeting new people. And, and every night you're getting up there and you're putting yourself on the line and showing them exactly what you do and what you love about your music and trying to talk them into it. So if you get them, that's magic. You know, you just, and, and, and the thing is, they'll stand by you the next time you're back in that town. You'll see the same people. You've gone to, you know, the same after parties. They'll be bringing back to your homes, and it's, and it's an amazing process. And I think it is really beautiful. And I think it is um, something that um, changes you for the better. And and because it's community, it's not about the fact that you can play well. You know, and you do, do the, um, you know, an amazing show. It's the morning after. It's the fact that you can get up in the morning after all of that, no matter how tired you are, how exhausted you are. And just be, and just go. Great. Let's go to the next. Let's go to the next town. I got my friends here, gonna keep me calm.